Walt Disney's Animation Studios and Contos, their newest animated film, tells the tale of an extraordinary family, the Madrigals, who live hidden in the mountains of Colombia in a magical house in a vibrant town in a wondrous, wondrous, charmed place called an Encanto. The magic of the Encanto has blessed every child in the family with a unique gift from super strength to the power to heal. Every child except one, Mirabelle. This is Encantos on Night of the Movies on the Cross Border Interviews. Many years ago, this candle blessed our family with a miracle. Our house, our casita, came to life with magic. Hola, casita. Boys! Drawers! Let's go! In time, every member of our family... Cecilia, up top! ...was given their own magical gift. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I understand you. I'm not super strong like Luisa. The donkey's got out again. On it! Or effortlessly perfect like Senorita Perfecta Isabella. But, Mama, why am I the only one that didn't get a gift? You're just as special as anyone else in this family. You just healed my hand with an arepa con queso. Casita? What's going on? The magic is in danger. We gotta get out of here! We must protect our home. We must protect our family. This is my chance. I will save the magic. Wait, how do I save the magic? I'm losing my gift! <laughs> Mirabel, the fate of the family is gonna come down to you. I can't do this. Let me help you. The rats told me everything. Don't eat those. Even in our darkest moments, there's light. Whoa, a lot of stairs, but at least I'll have a friend. Nope, you flew away immediately. Quitter! <laughs> Michael and Kanto, Disney's newest feature film without a princess. What did you think? I liked it. I thought it was fun. I thought it was... <laughs> I liked it. I... <laughs> Usually when you go up in a sentence, it means that your legs or your teeth. I, I like it. No, no, no. I did, I did like it. My husband, if, however, hated it. <laughs> I liked it, though. Yeah, we hated it. Hated it. I'm like, you didn't really? And he's like, yes. And I'm like, well, it's going to win Best Animated Picture. Sorry. And he's like, I don't know if I agree with that. And I'm like, well, you don't, you're not the voters. So... Um, <laughs> no, I really did like it. I, I liked the story. I liked, it was very deep. It was a very, very deep story. And I think with children watching, a lot of it probably went over their head because there were songs and moments in it and like metaphors for things and the overarching story. And I watched it and I was like, fuck, I don't think this movie, was, I don't think it was made for children. I think it was fully made for adults. And again, Lin-Manuel Miranda, I hate him. He, in this movie, kind of murdered it with the, with the writing. So for those who don't know, Lin-Manuel Miranda uh, did not direct this movie. No. Nope. But he was the musical... Uh, he, he, he wrote, wrote the songs. The, he wrote the songs. Um, he wrote the songs for Moana, the other Disney movie. Uh, we have recently talked about another film that he did, which was Tick, Tick, Boom. Um, I will I will be I will be up front. I didn't know anything about this movie before going into it. I did not do research. I didn't either. Uh, it was on Disney Plus. It was streaming on Disney Plus. And I thought, well, let's just let's let's, let's see what it's all about. Uh, we were sitting on the couches and do you want to watch it? Sure, let's watch it. Well, there's nothing else new out. So we watched it. My husband is from Nicaragua and the entire time he was like, that's not how Colombia looks. That's not how this, that, or the other. And I was like, well, it's Disney. It doesn't mean that has to look exactly like it. It just, it's Disney. I, I enjoyed the movie. There were parts of the movie where I didn't feel like I was watching a Disney film. No, it didn't feel like that at all. 
No, the musical scores, the musical numbers were great. There were some that were very hard hitting. There were some that were very not needed. And there was a few characters that were not needed as well. Camilla. I'm not going to talk about Bruno. <laughs> Camilla wasn't needed. True. He wasn't. He was the only character that probably wasn't needed. Um, for those who I forget her name, and I'm gonna I'm gonna pronounce it wrong here, but Mirabel. Yes. Louisa. Yes, Mirabel's uh, the voice actor who does Mirabel. Uh, I don't. Oh. I don't know Stephanie something. Um, she is Agent uh, Garce, uh Agent Rodriguez on Brooklyn Nine Nine. She was in the Heights with Lin Manuel Miranda as well. Um, she did a fantastic job. I did not know she could sing, and I was pleasantly surprised that she did a fantastic job. Uh, you know, Lin Manuel Miranda wrote Bruno for himself, and then Disney had to probably tell him at some point, Lin, you're not going to be in this. Lin, we're giving it to John Le- Le- Gaz- Leguizamo. Leguizamo, and they tied yeah. him in a corner when John recorded his lines. One of the one of the major things that I, I want to talk about here about this movie is Disney films are well known to have a protagonist and an antagonist throughout the entire movie. This did not have that, I found. The pressures, uh, the family pressures, generational trauma, that was the antagonist was the pressures of family, the pressures of generational trauma and how it influences and impacts going down the line and, you know, healing from grief and properly healing from that trauma moving forward and how to become a better, stronger family unit. Um, Granted, all of that for a children's movie, like I said, a little deep, a little over the heads of the children watching it, um, which I loved it watching it. I was like, oh my God, I'm picking up on all this. I'm feeling personally victimized by uh, Louisa's song, um, personally victimized. So I just really, I liked it. I found it hilarious that they had an actor do the audio parts for the toucan. Alan? Alan Ruddick. <laughs> Tudyk. Tudyk, sorry, there you go. I apologize. I, I I laughed my ass off when I found that. <laughs> like he does that. He does like all the time. Randomly, you'll like look at a movie's cast, and it's like the voice of a random like chicken or dog in the movie. It was Alan. He, he was the ch- he was the chicken in Moana. Sure was. I was like, w- like, does this guy like? Yes. Like, does he have enjoys the voice, voice of a thousand like animals? I mean, he just enjoys doing weird shit. He was also in Doom Patrol as uh, Mister Nobody. I want to say his name is. Brilliant. He's brilliant. He's just and he's in my weird. favorite new Canadian uh, American TV show on sci-fi, Resident Alien, which you, if you haven't seen, watch it. It's great. It's hilarious. Uh, it's coming back. It came back in January. So please watch it because it's great. And I want season three. Disney Disney's always going to get nominated for an Oscar for any, fi- any cartoon film, uh, animated film that they put out. And it's this- probably going to win. Yes, because there hasn't been that many other cartoons out or animated features out this year that I've seen besides Ra- Raya, Raja, The Last Dragon. Well, Raya, The Last Dragon, it's Disney. It's going to get nominated. Luca, it's Disney. It's going to get nominated. This, so three category, three of the f- however many are Disney right now. Yeah, that's true. Was from what I'm predicting. And then you'll probably see... Wallace and Gromit out of, out of the UK, probably, if they came out with something. Because and then maybe all- Sing to. That's true. Maybe. Or um, Netflix, I think, had a couple of Christmas ones. They've been doing a lot of the Netflix cartoons, too, now. Mm -hmm. So overall, it's a great movie if you want to uh, relive some great uh, music. Uh, Writing was great. Storyline progression was great. It did not feel like it was an hour and 45 minute movie, but that was just me. Uh, I will start on this one out of five. I would give it a, I'd give it a, I'm giving it a four. So give it a four with me. I want to give it a four, but I feel like there was something missing and I could not tell you what that was. I'll give it a four. Bruno, not enough Bruno. No, there was too much Bruno. I don't want to talk about Bruno. (laughs) 
Because, hey, did you hear that? Uh, let's not talk about Bruno is number five on the Billboard's top charts or something. Yeah, I, Billboard I'm, Top 100, it's it's number five. I How? Am, well, this was back in January when uh, when it was on the top, top, top of the charts. I just, I am so happy that it's on the top of the charts. I think we should talk about it a little <laughs> bit more. so shady. What do you mean? I'm just saying that it, you know what? Disney, uh, let it go. Well, it was on the top I of think, the charts. Moana. I think this is because of the TikTok because it's on every person's TikTok right now. They're all using the, we don't talk about Bruno sound for everything. Just well, like- as With long Elmo as we're not, as long as I was gonna say, as long as we're not talking about Rocco, if we can talk not talk about Rocco and Bruno, then I'd be a happy camper. Okay. Oh. Um, so you'd give it a four, I'll give it a four as well. I feel like there's something missing. And the only reason I say that is because when I go to a Disney movie, I want to see a, a an antagonist. I want to see that scar to Simba. I want to see that uh um Oh my God, I forget his name and it's my favorite Disney movie. Stitch to the, uh, I want to say Jumba. Uh, no, Jumba's and Pleakley, we love them. Yeah. I, they're the drag, they're the drag queens. There. <laughs> so you'll give it a four, I'll give it a four. And that yeah. is, oh, go ahead. I give it, a, well, I give it a four kind of for the same reason. It's a Disney, not the same reason, but it's a Disney movie. It was a little too deep, I think, for kids to kind of comprehend the entire story a lot of great colors if i was a kid if i was a baby, oh i would have had so I much fun been the like, music was fun the music was fun but i don't think overall they would pick up on everything kind of going on in it and so i think story-wise for the actual demographic it's for is where i kind of have to go okay this has to be a four because the demographic it's for isn't going to understand all the nuances that have been put in that's true um, so that is Encanto on Night at the Movies.